and my hair coffee. I just want to let you guys know some stuff that I've got coming up. So I just, I've got the mail. Hang on a minute. Um, so what I've done is post up a notice that we'll do a Facebook Live um, shut up and write session. So those of you who have known me for a long time, and especially those who knew me when I was working at Bachelor, will know that I ran these sessions. Marla, I know you like them, and John, um, Uncle John up in, um, <coughs> oh, excuse me, Torres Strait was into them. Um, so what I'll do, we're all likely still far apart. I don't think anyone can actually meet in person, but um, if you're keen and you've got some writing to do, what I'll do is start tomorrow at 9am Australian Eastern Standard Time and set two hours block of writing time. It doesn't matter what you are writing about. Um, you can be doing creative writing, it can be um, a thesis, it can be an article, it can be, I don't know, whatever you like. Just if you need to sit down and write anything, you can lock out this block of time. Yandra, Bill. Um, so, yeah, and then we'll do 25 minute blocks of work and then five minute, like, chill time, get a cup of tea, um, cup of coffee, eat something, do whatever you want. Um, and then get back to work. So that two hour block, hopefully we'll see us all being really productive human beings <laughs> and, um, and make us focus on the task at hand. Um, and then the other thing, um, I'm just talking with my colleague Tarisi and we're, we're coming up with some ideas for another, um, discussion that we can have together. So we might do that as a webinar, not the Lapita Pottery one, we're still working on that one, um, but one relating to decolonisation and the academy, um, academia and research and that sort of stuff. So this is something that we talk about a lot, but uh, in, in academia, or at least in the circles I've been moving in, <laughs> we've talked about a lot. Um, and I'm mostly familiar with the discussions that go on in history and anthropology around it, but there's a lot of other disciplines that are dealing with similar issues in similar ways, sometimes different ways. So um, there's, a, there's a hell of a lot of work to do. So uh, it would be good if we can manage to push that along, even if we're all remote and not actually working in the um, uh, Vernacca bill, um, even if we're not actually in the system so much anymore um, but we can all try and and keep pushing pushing things um so that's what's coming up i am still setting up the histories historians way histories way thank you so much to everyone who contributed with an idea for the name i ended up <laughs> overwhelmed because he came up with some new new ideas and uh <laughs> I just I just need to work with two because otherwise I'm gonna get bamboozled um but there were some nice nice comments there and uh I think we've locked in history's way I've um discussed this with my little team of people um the awesome crystal Simba and Enoch so I hope that um hope that we've landed on the right one there so the website's in process uh, so you can join up as a member anytime, really. And those of you who are in on the ground floor can sign up for a founding membership. So that'll be good if you're keen. Um, but there'll be lots of support for people who are at all stages of studying history, who are early career researchers, even those who are later in their career. And I, I realised yesterday it's been six years since I graduated from my PhD. So I don't know where that time's gone. Um, mostly in a blur of sleepless baby filled days <laughs> uh, so yeah um, hopefully that discussion the discussions I've had over the last few days have been helpful I was also talking to Alicia this morning when I dropped off 
um, Tanache at Childcare about finding motivation for just writing essays and like I was really thinking about writing something that you actually wanted to <laughs> write the other day um, when I was talking about motivation for writing. So when it's something that you don't want to write, that's another challenge altogether. You just got to bite the bullet and get on with it, really. So I think what I used to do was just organise it by when the deadlines were and chip away and hope that I would end up working on the my favourite topic as the last one so that I wouldn't feel totally jaded at the end of the semester. Um, sometimes it's better to do the hardest one first. But then sometimes the one, the essay or whatever assignment that you think is going to be the hardest is actually the easiest and vice versa. So you, um, we've seen that a lot, actually. There was, I can't remember what course it was, but I remember a lecturer saying, you know, students always think this is the easy question, but it's actually the hardest. So um, don't get, uh, don't get tricked. Um... Yes, I think that's all I wanted to say this morning. But yeah, there's some good stuff coming up uh, on the lives. Let me know if you've got any other stresses or things that you want to talk about. Um, I was going to do a talk on Pacific Church History 2 and decolonization of churches in the Pacific. Let me know if that's of interest because I do have that pretty much ready to go. Um, what else do I have? That's probably about it for now. I'm getting the rest of my root canal done today for anyone who's interested. <laughs> so I might be offline tomorrow. Um, yeah, exciting times. All right, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.